Hello everyone, welcome to Code Analytics. Sometime back, I made a video on installation of CF Mesh for OpenFoam. But based on the comments I received, uh, it seems like there are some issues that people are facing. So I thought let's make a video which will not have any issues. And also that that version is applicable only for version 2406 of OpenFoam. So I thought I will make this installation which is independent of any versions of OpenFoam. So we are going to install CF Mesh for Windows. So if you are using Linux, then it is slightly different, but it's uh, the process is going to remain almost the same. But this video is only for Windows users. I'll try to make a video for Linux users later. But if you are using WSL like me, then this video will be suitable for you. Okay, now first thing which you have to do is go to Google and search for CF Mesh Windows. And you will be able to see this one CF Mesh open source from cfmesh.com. So you just go into that and click on Windows free download. So if you uh, click on Linux free download, then you will get a dot run file. So all you have to do is go to your terminal and uh, execute the run file. That's it. It will be very easy. Uh, but in Windows, we will be getting a .exe file which we have to install just like any other software. So let me download it quickly now. Okay, the download is started. Now the downloading is over. So I will double click on this. Click on next and uh, choose the appropriate folder where you want the CF mesh to be installed click on next and uh, here what you have to do is check all okay so just select all and uh, it will also install a version of open foam called 2.3.0 but it will not interfere with your uh, wsl open foam so you don't have to worry click on next then uh, you just have to accept the license and yeah, click on next click on next and uh, install now the installation is also over so click on next and if you want to uh, open the readme file check on this click on finish it will open the readme file in .txt format you can write it if you want so let me go on and close this and uh, let me go to the location where my cf mesh is installed so this is where my cf mesh is installed now we are going to check whether the installation is working correctly or not so whenever we are running anything in uh, open foam using wsl we will open the terminal and load wsl or open the ubuntu terminal right so in this method we will not be using uh, ubuntu terminal we are going to generate the mesh in windows terminal and then go to ubuntu terminal for our uh, rest of the case setup so let me explain what i mean by that so first go into cf mesh under that you will have tutorials so open that and uh, let's just try with Cartesian mesh. Okay, so if you go here, you will have a lot of examples. So let me just copy paste this bunny oak tree and I'm going to rename it as example. Let us go inside and if you see you have an STL file, you have the zero constant system just like any open form uh, case directory. So now I'm going to right click and click on open in terminal. This will work only for Windows 11. Open in terminal uh, option is not there in Windows 10. So highly suggest going to Windows 11. 10 is going to get discontinued soon. Okay, now we are in the terminal and all we have to do is type Cartesian mesh to start the meshing process. Let me do that. Now it is saying that there is some error in the control deck so by default this control deck doesn't come with an application name so if you are using simple form if you are using pimple form then this will be there but uh, right now we are not trying to set up any case we are just trying to generate some mesh so what we are going to do is uh, we are just going to put some placeholder name it doesn't matter so let me put cf mesh Okay, I will close this and go back to my terminal and let me run it again.
now the machine process is over so you can go inside constant and you can see that you have the poly mesh so we have the mesh just like what open form would expect but if we want to see the mesh what will we generally do we will just type touch space para foam to create a para view file and then view the mesh through that but if i do that here it will give me an error because this is not a wsl terminal or linux terminal and touch is not part of the command for windows so what will we do we just open our wsl through here and then we can say touch space para dot now it will be created so it is bit easy to navigate between windows terminal and wsl terminal actually so if you press ctrl plus b it will go to your windows terminal again if you type wsl it will go to your linux terminal so only when you are generating the mesh you have to be in windows terminal after you generate the mesh you can go back to your linux terminal and set up rest of the cases so whatever case it may be just generating the mesh will be done in windows terminal okay now i will open the para.com file and uh, show you the mesh okay this is the mesh which we have for the bunny of tree you can see that this is a cartesian mesh so similarly you have a uh, tet mesh you have cartesian 2d mesh and you also have poly mesh so i have already made a video on how to do cf mesh uh, elaborate video so i will give the link in the description you can check it out if you have any specific suggestion about cf mesh tutorials please let me know in the comments if you face any issues in the installation also please let me know i'll see what could be done i hope this video was helpful if you enjoyed the video so far consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel see you in another video thank you